A local man is making headlines for possibly discovering some of the oldest stars in the universe. And joining me now is Dr. Eli Visbel, an associate professor of astronomy at the University of Toledo. Thank you. So explain what population three is. Yeah, that connects to what I was, was sort of alluding to there, that uh, shortly after the Big Bang, the universe chemistry was much simpler than it is today. It was essentially just hydrogen and helium gas. There weren't heavy elements like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon. And population three stars are just designed or defined as the stars created from this primordial gas. So stars that just form from hydrogen and helium gas. And up to this point, they'd really only been studied theoretically and hadn't been observed. And in our simulations, we saw that they seem to be quite interesting in the sense that um, they might have typical masses 100 times larger than our sun. So these first stars could be much bigger, uh, but we had only studied them uh, in simulations and theoretically until recently with the James Webb Space Telescope, our group kind of identified that perhaps the, this recently observed object could be the first detection of these objects. 